Why did the ancient Jews have blood sacrifices? Why even the Quran suggests and encourages that? Because without shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. Isn't it fantastic? God demands good works as a result of salvation, not to obtain salvation. You don't have to go to a holy city, Jerusalem, Varanasi, Mecca, or Rome. They are too small to contain the majesty of God. Ceremonial cleansing can wash the stain, but never a heart full of sin. God is not impressed with our fastings or prayers. These promote self-righteousness. God loves you and wants to save you and me by his grace through faith in Jesus Christ our Lord. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that anyone believing in him should not perish but have everlasting life. لِأَنَّهُ هَكَذَا حَبَّ اللَّهُ الْعَالَمُ حَتَّى بَذَلَ إِبْنُهُ الْوَحِيدِ لِكَيْ لَا يَهْلَكْ كُلْ مَنْ يُؤْمِنْ بِهِ بَلْ تَكُونْ لَهُ الْحَيَاةُ الْأَبَدِيَّةُ Amen. Thank you very much. We are grateful to Mr. Sharosh for his 49 minutes and 15 seconds. Some impeccable timing. If you want to take a, a deep breath for a moment or two. There's a privilege and one that I did not expect to have and one that I'm delighted to have. Uh, to welcome to the Royal Albert Hall tonight and to listen for the next 50 minutes uh, to the initial presentation from Mr. Ahmed Didat. Thank you, sir. I would like to have you first. I pray you. Go on, go on. Look, I love you. 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 We love you. We love you. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بل نكذف بالحق إلى الباطل فيدمغه فاذا هو ذاهك ولكم الويل مما تصفون صدق الله صدق الله مولانا زيد مستر تشيرمان ريسبكتد سبيكر and my dear brothers and sisters, the subject is Jesus God, can very easily be solved by asking a counter question. Did Jesus claim to be God? Did he say I am God? Did he say worship me? And believe me, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, there is not a single unequivocal statement in any of the 66 books of the Bible or the 73 of, 73 of the Roman Catholics where Jesus says, I am God, or where he says, worship me. There isn't. I would have been very happy to hear Jesus, the, from the lips of Jesus, this simple, straightforward, explicit statement. I am God, I worship you. Because I as a Muslim, and we Muslims as a whole, we believe that Jesus Christ was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe in his miraculous birth. We believe that he was the Messiah. And we believe that he gave life to the dead by God's permission, and he healed those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. This is really the only point of real difference between the Muslim and the Christian is the divinity of Christ. And for that, I say that our brother has not adduced a single statement from the lips of Jesus saying, I am God or worship me. While he walked this earth, he never made such a statement. Of course, our brother has a chance, my brother Shorosh, of coming back and perhaps he might be able to point out to me in case he had overlooked it. The nearest he came to that was a quotation from the book of Revelation where it is supposed to be the words of Jesus where he says I am Alpha and Omega meaning I am the first and the last. Now this 
book of Revelation was a dream was a dream in which John in the dream he saw a vision in which he saw animals with eyes inside and eyes outside and horns with eyes on it all oh, this is a man if he eats too much he gets that type of experiences <laughs> but while Jesus walked this earth we will analyze what he actually said and what he did now the idea of the Holy Trinity in which the Christian the bulk of Christendom including the Anglican Church the Roman Catholics the Presbyterians the Lutherans the Methodists almost as a whole they believe in this thing called the Holy Trinity in the Christian catechism of the churches they say I'm quoting that the Father is God the Son is God and the Holy Ghost is God but they are not three gods but one God this is the Father is Almighty the Son is Almighty and the Holy Ghost is Almighty but they are not three Almighty but one Almighty it it continues I'm quoting the catechism this is the Father is a person the Son is a person and the Holy Ghost is a person but they are not three person but one person I am asking what language is that is that English it sounds English but this is not English person 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 but not three person but one person I said what language is that what is a person in your language you English people tell me you Americanized Englishman tell me what is a person in your language if you and your two other brothers are identical triplets we can't make out the difference between the three of you you are all identical if one of you commit murder I am asking can we hang the other you say no I said why not you all look alike so he tells me no he is a different person what makes him a different person it is his personality if the personality is different he's different and when you say the Christian says in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost I say you have three distinct mental pictures in your mind when you say Father you don't think of the Son when you say the Son you don't think of the Holy Ghost are you there are, and these three pictures you can never superimpose and create one there'll ever be three in your mind unless the mind is diseased you say these three I see as one the three will ever remain three now as far as the Muslim is concerned believing that any human being any human being is God or is equating with God it is an act of treason against God whether it's a Hindu idea of a God incarnate or whether it is a Christian idea of a God incarnate God becoming a man the Holy Quran says Laqad kafara allazina qalu inna allaha huwal masih ibn maryam said whosoever says that Jesus Christ the son of Mary is God they are making kufr it's an act of blasphemy this is treason against God وَقَالَ الْمَسِيحِ but Christ said يَا بَنِي إِسْرَعِيلِ أُوْشُرُونَ فِي إِسْرَعِيلِ لَعْبُدُ اللَّهِ وَشِبْ اللَّهِ رَبِّي وَرَبُّكُمْ who is my Lord and your Lord إِنَّهُ مَنْ يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ whoever will associate anyone with Allah فَقَدْ حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ لِلْجَنَّةِ Allah will make Jannah haram for them heaven will be forbidden for them وَمَعْوَهْ نَعْرْ and the fire of hell will be the dwelling place وَمَا لِلْظَالِمِنَ مِنْ أَنْصَارْ and for the wrongers there will be no one to help and Jesus Christ he is speaking about the Father in heaven he is your Father and my Father again and again in the Gospel of St. Matthew if you start taking stock from chapter 1 verse 1 you will come across this phrase your father thy father your father thy father 13 times before the first time he says my father it's an amazing situation that 13 times the man is telling you that God Almighty is the father of everybody metaphorically he is the creator sustainer evolver